Hey, what's up guys? Um, thanks for requesting a tutorial and thanks for appreciating my work. I appreciate you greatly. Let's get into this. I'm going to teach you today how to take this photo and edit out this pipe, edit out the lines, and do a color edit so it looks like that. And I'm going to teach you how to take this photo and edit it to look like this. And are you guys ready? Let's go. So you're going to copy these two, or select these two. I'm using Photoshop. You're going to take these two, and you're going to drag them into Photoshop. OK, there we have it. So if you push on a Mac, if you're on a Mac, if you push Command Plus, it will take you and zoom you in to a better percentage, which is great. OK, so first step you're going to do is select this and unlock it. You're going to hold down Option so you can duplicate the layer and drag another layer up. You're going to deselect the top layer because you only want to work with the second layer. The purpose of the top layer is if you mess up on this and you have another one to work with. Okay, perfect. So you have that. You're going to go to Filter. It's in the top bar. You are going to go down to Camera Raw Filter. And... We are going to make a preset for all the other photos in this set right here. So here you could adjust things like the temperature and whatnot, and that's what we're going to do now. So I am going to adjust this to 15. I already know like what I kind of like. So I'm going to adjust that to 15. <clears throat> my tent, my tent, my tint is going to go to kind of like that, like purplish. I'll go to 35, my exposure, I'm going to lift this up to 10, um, 15 is fine. Highlights, I'm going to drop down to negative 5. Shadows, I'm going to drop down to negative 5. Um, I like to go in 5, that's just like the way I like to do things. Whites, if I go too high in whites, it'll blow out the photo kind of, like the clouds, and I don't want to do that. Let's just go to negative 30 seems fine. And then clarity, I'm only going to move it up to 5. And that'll just kind of help the clarity of the image. Okay, and then from here, we're not done. We are going to go up to the HSL panel, which is right here. That stands for Hue, Saturation, and Luminance. And this is where we're going to adjust like the color of the skin, the colors in like the sky, whatever. Uh, I'm going to go here to 10. For orange, I'm going to go to 10 as well. For yellows, uh, let me see. Is there really any change? No. We'll go to 25. There's no greens that I want to adjust. Aquas, let's see. Anything? No adjustments really. Okay, we'll keep that at zero. Blue, blue is going to change the sky. I love this. You could change your purple, whatever, pink. But we are going to go with, let's go to 65. So this way it's more like editorial turquoise color. I love that. Purples, right around here, there's kind of like a little bit of purple tint. I'm going to play with this. That's making it darker. I want to make it more, I like that, um, more of like a red color. Let's go with, we'll go with 50. That's good. Instead of pushing OK right away, we want to save it as a preset. So what you're going to do is hit Save Settings. It's going to tell you what you did, and then you're going to save it. And then you're going to type in the name, okay? You can type in whatever name you want. I'm going to cancel it because I already have a preset saved. Okay, so let's go back here. Apply preset. I saved it as Coachella Vibes. It's going to take me here. Cool. And push OK. There you have it. Boom. One step. We have two more steps to go, and your picture is complete. Now you're going to grab your square tool and you are going to make a square shape and overlay this photo. So we're going to go here, take off the border of that. Um, this is the fill. We're going to go with like a skin tone-ish color. All right. And now right above your layers, this section will allow you to lighten, screen, do a bunch of different effects to it. We're going to overlay. It's right here in the middle. We're overlaying. Wow, it's like blown out, oversaturated. 
but no fear. We're going to drop the opacity down to, I'm going to go with 30. Let's go with 35. Still kind of orange, but that's okay. 35. Perfect. I like it. Now up here in the adjustments layer, if you don't see the adjustments layer, you can go to window and then select adjustments. It'll pop up. Okay. And then here, you're going to go to hue and saturation. I'm going to drop the saturation down a tad bit. I'm going to go to negative. Let's go to negative 12. I like that. Let's see the lightness. <clears throat> let's go to negative. Let's go to two. Perfect. I like it. We'll close that up. Now, remember that this square is this layer right here, but you could see the square line. So we're going to get rid of that. The only way we could do that is we have to rasterize this layer. So you're going to right click it, rasterize it. So this way it's editable. And then we're going to go to the eraser tool. Now, this is important. You want to get a feathered style um, eraser because you don't want like harsh lines when you're deleting and then you like right here on the mountain range, you don't want it to be like hard. So you're kind of just going to go and like feather over everything. So it's there. Cool. We've deleted. If you want to make the cursor bigger, all you have to do is, I don't know what it's called. I think it's a parenthesis, but right next to the letter P to the right side is like a parenthesis type thing. You can push that and it'll make it bigger or smaller. Okay. So there we have it. We're done with that. Now from here, we're going to scroll. Here we are. We are going to go to the left side and we're going to get the burn tool. Okay. It's a little hand. It says burn tool. Then we're going to make sure that it is on shadows, not midtones or highlights. If you want to darken the highlights, you can do that, but we're going to go with shadows. Make sure the exposure is 10 because if you go any higher than that, it might be like really, really burnt. And this is basically going to um, darken and give more detail. So here, Oh, make sure that you select, sorry, we're here. Make sure that you select the first layer because that's what we're going to edit. We're going to go to this mountain range, make it a little bit darker. See these little hills right here? Give some more detail to it. Um, okay, cool. Pops a little bit. So if you push Apple Z, you'll see the difference. Okay? Apple Z. Now, all these little bushes out here, I want to use those because I want to make, I just want to give a little bit more depth of field. So I'm just going to darken those a little bit, darken that area, attach. Um, let me darken our shoes a tad bit so they can kind of stand out. And maybe this little area. That is that. You are done with this photo. If you select this top layer, that's what it looked like before, and this is what it looks like now. Hope you love it. If you do, make sure to comment below and tell me that you loved it, or tell me you hate it, or tell me that there's a better way of doing this. I'm still learning everything, but I just want to show you what I know. Okay, so on to the next photo. Go here, Command Plus, so we can zoom in. Let's. We're going to zoom in a lot on this one, okay? So just go ahead and zoom in, because we are going to take out this pipe and it is so easy, but it looks scary. It's not, okay? Okay, let's go here, unlock the background, hold Option, and drag up. Unlock this layer, or make that layer invisible. Select layer one again, and here we are, okay? This is super simple. You're going to go over to the left side. You are going to get the stamp tool. If you don't see the stamp tool, it's probably because you're on the, um, the hill brush. It looks like a, a band-aid. Go down to the patch tool and oh whoops wrong one we're gonna go to stamp tool my bad <laughs> so here we are stamp tool okay and then you're gonna select the spot right around here because we want it to look exactly like it so we're gonna go here push down option click and it's gonna copy what what was there okay but it's gonna follow alongside of us so this way you don't go too far if you see that that little cursor thing is about to hit the sand, then stop because then it'll copy the sand as well too and you don't want that. Okay, and then let's go on this side. Let's just go on this side right here. Grab from there. We're just going to start filling this in. So see it's like feathered. Cool. 
Come back here again, and we're going to copy and just fill this section in. Pretty simple. It's almost gone. Pipe is almost gone. Let's go to the sand. The sand is so much fun because it's like grains. Like you can't tell if somebody messed with it or not. Okay. That's it. The pipe is gone. And then now we have to do this part. Well, this is easy because there's lines here. So basically all you're going to do is push down option, select, and then see if you move it here, you can see the line. So you just want to have this line lined up right here. And then click, go up along this line. Boom, done. That part's done. Then you could go here, option, select, because now you're on the ridge. Make sure the edge is right there. Boom, done. And then from here, so you're here, right? You're going to go over to the left side. You're going to go to the patch tool, grab that, and just clean up anything that you're not really like fond of, and then drag it to a spot that's like more empty. Um, notice here, it's like the same scratch marks. Let's just take this. We'll take this whole like little section, and we'll just run it up here, and voila. This brown part, it's kind of ugly. Let me get rid of this. Let's get rid of this whole brown line thing. I don't know what that is. It's not appealing to me. Boom. And then you'll you'll just know how to like learn and play with this. If you want to make the edge on this more um, like you know sharp, just go like that. It'll show you what you're copying basically. So just find a section that's like similar to it, I would say, and then make sure it's like lined up. Cool, there we go. You would never know that there was a pipe there. It's gone. Okay, now we're gonna swipe up and go to these power lines. We don't want them here. We're gonna do the same exact thing with this uh, patch tool. Boom. Voila, baby, it is gone. So you could do the same thing with the stamp tool, but we're already here and it's kind of easy. Get rid of it. Uh, boom, done. That is done. And now we have an image and it looks great. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go to filter, camera raw filter, to today, Junior. Okay, then we are going to go to this drop down tab. We're going to select it. And we're going to go to apply preset and go to the preset that you named it. This one's called Coachella. <laughs> um, but I'm just going to adjust it a little bit because this one was for the other one. So I'm going to bring these whites up to 10. Just because there's a lot of white in this photo and I want to like make it look stand out. Um, the tint. Well, let's go here. Let's see. You can do your own adjustments, okay? But I'm just going to drop this down to zero. Um, let me go back. The tint, I'm going to drop down to 20. 20. Brightness, exposure. I'm going to go up to 20 as well. And we are good. Look at that. Let me know what you guys think of this tutorial too, because I could do more stuff. I could show you like how to slim things down or curve or fix things. Oh, there's one more thing I need to show you actually. Okay, so from here, we are going to take the burn tool again. I'm gonna zoom in on her body. And I just like to darken like little spots um, just to make it stand out a little bit. Uh, so right under there. Sometimes I feel like it just gets flat, so I just like to make sure that the shadows are kind of like popping and bringing the body out. Um, let's say her neckline too. Perfect. And what else was I going to show you? Oh, yes. I'm going to show you a teaser of what we could do for the next photo, okay? So we're done with this. I hope that you guys love it. It's cool. I hope that you guys understand how this works. If you don't, you can comment below. And ask me any question. I'll try to answer it as best as possible. And if you don't feel comfortable commenting there, you could go ahead and DM me at Hairface on Instagram. And then let's see. So see this photo? We're here on this. If you go to filter and liquefy, 
I always do this to like everybody I shoot. I always fix their hair because sometimes it's kind of flat and I feel like it could be a little bit better. Stay here on the smudge tool. But you got to watch the lines, okay? So basically, I'm just going to give her hair a little bit more wave. Maybe bring this in a little bit. And people can never really tell either when you do this. It just looks way better. And they're like, wow, that girl has nice hair. Um, just little things I'll fix, you know. That I won't move because there's like the pat the line there and it might mess it up. Let's say this, I want it to be a little bit more curved. Then I'll go ahead and adjust it. The mountaintop is fine because like no one's going to know like, hey, that ridge is not like that. Now it just like, now the hair looks more curved. Oops. Voila. And there we have it. Okay. Voila. We are done. And if you push Apple Z, if you push Apple Z, you can see the difference that happened, that you changed, and the hair looks a little bit better. So that's it. And now you just have to save it and put it on social media and love it. I love you guys. Thank you for wanting to see this. If you want to see more or there's other things that you might want to know on Photoshop or how I do my vlogs, let me know. Comment below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you guys for being interested. Peace out. Make sure that today and tomorrow are the best days you could ever possibly have in your whole entire life. I'm out.